And we're Welcome back. Welcome back. This is the third module of Soulmate Ready. So this is the understanding module. So you've already did a little heart work about yourself, did a little heart work specifically about your compliment, the other. And now this is building up to the heart work for understanding. And so when we talk about understanding, we get right in. And what understanding is under the Coleman House umbrella is really just the applied knowledge. So you got some deeper knowledge, hopefully, about yourself. You really began to look at the other uh, person that you're with if you're in a relationship and then begin to understand their thoughts and beliefs and some of their patterns. Then if you're not in a relationship, you're starting to contemplate what is the other person that is the what are they like as the complement to my style mm -hmm. and to my thoughts and beliefs. Now we want to talk about understanding, which is the merging of the two. And um, I like what Nawasha always says, understanding is applied knowledge. So we're taking that knowledge and we're synthesizing or to use her word that I love, harmonizing <laughs> the, the, two, the two different entities. And we talk about often in our books and in our work, um, what I call the Acoma Trinity, to understand that in a relationship, the relationship is the third thing. So you have a, a pyramidal style, a triangle style, if you could think of it, where you have, just say on the example for on the left side, you have the woman, on the right side, you have the man, and then they coalesce or they congeal at the top to be a, 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 a third thing. That third thing is the relationship. And I make that distinction because we have to understand that who you are is cool and you don't necessarily <laughs> have to change that. Mm -hmm. But who you are in a relationship requires a different code of ethics. And the metaphor I use all the time is your job. Who you are, if you're, if you're a person of veracity, um, you are who you are. But when you go to work, you have to tailor who you are or only present certain parts of who you are. Not that you're being other than yourself, but you definitely have to um, present a, a, a version of yourself that complements the, 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 the mission of the, um, the employer that you are working with. So what I thought Marshall did this so well <laughs> just a few minutes ago, oh. like talking about words that I would use or, um, you know, like appreciating my style although it might not be his style so when he said oh a word that she would use harmonizing i like that <laughs> word <laughs> this is something that you know comes back to the applied knowledge because you have some you know some more about yourself and that always mm. keeps happening as you grow you're going to know yourself at deeper and deeper levels you're going to approach the other person whether you are just looking for them now your soulmate ready or you found your soulmates and you're ready to go deeper you're going to approach the other person in a certain way indefinitely as long as you're in a relationship with them. Uh, but what's so important is to, once you have that information, is to start actually practicing and using it. So we say applied because that is what's really um, going to make changes in your relationship. It's one thing right. to know something and we all know this right. <laughs> in other categories of our life. We might know something about health, know something about money. Right, but actually using what you know, you're, you become better. You be, you're able to infuse it with your actual personality and make it more natural. So that's what we're talking about in this module is really um, how are you going to now use the information that you know about yourself and the information that you are anticipating about your compliment or getting to know about an actual person that you have in mind or that you're with, how are you going to actually practice that um, on a day-to-day -day basis or create space for it within your week or your month I think it's important one thing I was going to add is that you know a lot of times you know we just approach this from the dysfunction side um, we are therapists we are counselors and in our practice a lot of times when we deal with couples this is especially for couples who are together um, you know, they, they find themselves at an impasse where one person is unwilling to bend or to be flexible in a relationship, which is flexibility is the first virtue of, of our coma day holiday and a way to live the, the virtues and principles of a coma day every day is the mission. But 
a lot of times there's an inflexibility because of people believe going back to thoughts and beliefs that they're losing something in themselves um, if they're constantly giving away um, or conceding to the desires of their partner and one of the things that we always talk about is that you know um, again with the Trinity that you know we hear a lot of you know well I was this way when she met me I'm thinking of the men for example <laughs> Um, I was this way when she met me, so, you know what I'm saying, like, she should know that I'm not, you know, I'm not about to be, she not just get ready to change everything, I, I was this way, um, and we hear it from women also, you know, I was this way when he met me, now he wants to change the way I'm dressing, or what, what, whatever the case may be, and I always say, you know, um, being responsible is doing the right thing at the right time for the right reasons, and in the context of the relationship, it is understanding that you know, yo, I mean, um, who you are is cool and there should be room for you to be who you are. But in the relationship, there's a different set of rules. And if you are committing, which is uh, signing a heart contract, an emotional contract that you agree to um, have a certain code of conduct, no one understand that the relationship is not you. That's the point I'm trying to make. You are you. I'm Moncho. This is Nawasha. In the relationship, we are a third thing. And so for us to symbolize that, we took on the third name, which is a, which is a, a, a harmonization or harmonizing of our, of our actual names, which is Monwasha. Understand that the relationship is something other than you. So that was my point. Go on, love. And the, the practice piece this is really where you're getting the items for your toolbox so right. what you really need to understand in a relationship is first you know something about yourself right. and practice that something about the other person and practice those love rituals and then you need to understand how to have a conversation you know so how to communicate and all that's involved like we said in the last um, module about male female communication um, how to have intimacy, how to always maintain a level of creativity and excitement and passion in your relationship, um, how to get rid of or resolve, move through conflict and, and how to forgive and all of those types of things. These are the elements of your toolbox where you're not just knowing, yeah, I need to communicate. <laughs> yeah, I need, we need to have intimacy or I should forgive you, I know, but that you really know how to do it uh, and that you really know how to go about it, you know, like so how what it is in theory But then how to really practice it in your relationship. So the heart work for understanding is what uh, exercise that we do with couples called time so it is taking inventory in morning and evening so that you really can incorporate the practice into your life so if you are soulmate ready looking for your soulmate, then we're talking about um, taking inventory of your day, taking inventory of the week or the month, and saying, when in my life can my life be about more than just me? Because sometimes when you're in a mode of only being accountable to yourself, or only choosing when to be accountable, like at work or with friends or something like that, your life can be very, you know, focused on you as it, as it should be. But if you are saying that you're ready for a soulmate, then you're anticipating inviting the other person, like we said in the last module, welcoming them into your life. So if there is no space in your mind, no space in your heart, no space in your literal place of residence, no space in the closet, no space in the medicine cabinet, no space in the bed, you're not really going you to have some clearing out. <laughs> um, you know, to be able to you invite probably cluttered someone up. in. Right. Um, so what the exercise is, is really just saying to yourself, you know, what do I do in the morning? You know, what am I interested in to explore my own interests fully so that I can perhaps meet someone who will be my compliment there? Or, you know, the type of person that I'm really interested in, that compliment or the other, where would that person be right now? Thinking about their lists and their requirements, um, where would they be so that I can go to those places and right. really, you know, make my life about some type of service in those places or some type of exploration to really say that now this is where I can start to practice some of the things that I think that I know. Some, so some of the things that I've learned, some of the beliefs that I now have about what I learned, I can go into 
practice mode with those. Right. And I think the what and the why is a very practical um, interpretation of it. We say often that uh, our relationships fail often because we don't know what to do or we don't know why to do it. So this time, this acronym, taking inventory of morning and evening is so important because what it does is show you that you have way more time than you actually <laughs> believe that you do. Because we know as people who live life, but also as therapists, um, the stress of dysfunction or the stress of a pain, the stress of um, absence in terms of the realm of love and, and, and uh, relationship oftentimes magnifies its potency. So in other words, you know, you so lonely that you just say, you know, oh, I, I, I just, I don't ever think I'm going to find a person. But in reality, what it is, is you don't know how to look for one. Or you're so busy that you're saying you don't have time. But I learned something many years ago when I was studying Wushu, um, a, a, a martial arts system. And um, my my uh, teacher at the time, a legendary Wushu, um, uh, Mr. Leon Trescott, told, told us this. He said, the more you do in life, the more you do in your day, the more you realize that you have time to do. And, you know, we hear this expressed in the military commercials. We do more before <laughs> 5 a.m. than most people do all day. Because when you're purpose driven, you can get so much. We all have the same 24 hours in a day. But purpose driven people always get more done, even when they have more to do than other people. They still find time to have free time, et cetera, et cetera. So taking inventory of your morning and evening is so critical because it really shows you the, the, the how and the what. But then it also looks at the why you're not um, having the success that you might that you definitely deserve or but that you might not have had up until now, whether you're single or if you're in a relationship, mm -hmm. it's still very important. And um, we have many things that can help you, many tools. But on this first level, you really need to look at it and understand it. Because when you understand it, then you'll see, wow, I have like an extra 30 hours a week that I wasn't even counting. Mm -hmm. um, thinking about my soulmate or thinking about my actual partner who is my soulmate. Hopefully your actual partner is your soulmate. <laughs> <laughs> That's, if, we, if you're not there yet, go all the way back to the first <laughs> But um, you can use this to, 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 to really understand the how, the what, and the why. Mm -hmm. So that's a very important part. Yep. So download this calendar, this schedule, and do this um, taking inventory in morning and evening exercise so that you'll know what will be the first step in your strategy. And then, of course, we're hoping that you join us for the next um, video, which is on love systems and love rituals. And as always, as we part, until we greet you again, we part in the parting <laughs> words of peace, we say, Mia Akoma.